great work to do as a nation, Shep. Uh, I think President Biden uh, sounded the right tone today, the right start, a new beginning, uh, the emphasis on unity. Uh, the bully pulpit of the presidency is the most powerful pulpit in the world. We have witnessed over the last four years how the bull bully pulpit of the presidency could divide us. Uh, it could exacerbate tensions. It could uh, enable those who practice the politics of, of hatred and racism and anti-Semitism. By the very same token, I think we're going to get a chance to see how much uh, the words of the president and the tone the president sets begins this process of trying to build bridges within America and build the kind of bridges we need. But, Shep, it's got to be based if we're going to bring this nation together on some fundamental principles. One is a commitment to democracy. Number two is a commitment to truth. Number three is really a commitment to, to justice and fairness. And so I think what I, what I see is a chance for America to unite. But unity is not unanimity. You're not going to get universal support. There's no era in American history where we've had universal support or, un or, or unanimity, I would say. Uh, so I think today was an important start for the president, but the road ahead is going to be difficult. But if members mm -hmm. of Congress can talk to each other, uh, open their minds to each other, but what we can't do is get bogged down in conversation because the country is facing deep crises. We need action on COVID, action on democracy and voting rights. Uh, we need action to rebuild the American economy. So many people are hurting, suffering. Uh, that's palpable, the number of businesses uh, that will not make it. Uh, so I think we've got to understand how to level set with a foundation of values. Understood. And, you know, we both know people who, smart people, educated people, good people, love America people, who are misinformed to the degree that they believe the nation's been hijacked and that, uh, you know, President Biden is, is in here to do them ill will. And there, there's a right way and a wrong way to talk to people about these matters. We have to be understanding. We have to start some sort of communication. You're very good at that. Can you help us uh, with some hints about what to do about people who <laughs> are misinformed? Well, you know, I, I think leaders play an important role. Uh, I think the misinformation, the disinformation, the outright lies were being promoted and enabled by the most powerful man in the world. You can't, we can't remove that from the formula. I think if leaders understand uh, across the board the necessity of truth and candid conversation, I do think that that is a start. What leaders say People that have bully pulpits, that have Twitter accounts, uh, that have Facebook, that are on television, that speak to people, what they say matters. So they can lead people down a path of lies, or they can lead people down a path of truth. And within the concept of truth, Jeff, we can have candid disagreements, but there's got to be a fundamental commitment to truth. And I think a basic commitment to democracy, what we saw on January 6th was unprecedented in modern American history. We can't separate that. We can't suppress it. We can't treat that as though it was just, quote, uh, uh, a divided nation or a uh, partisanship gone wild. It was something very different. And that's why I think within that, those that carry that out, incited it, have to face a level of accountability I don't think that's inconsistent with trying to bring the nation together with a renewal of values of truth, mm. democracy, and equity. And that's really what we need. And we've got to build a coalition of the willing uh, to do that. And I think, candidly, the media, most of the, the media over the last several years has really been important on this issue of truth accountability. Uh, some may not, uh, but I think most of you all have. And I think that's a really important element going forward that we can bring the country together, but it's got to be based on some fundamental values, and leaders have to affirm it and say it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.